Hi, I'm Eric Kim, the senior editor here at Food52. I'm here to show you how I love to make chicken thighs. I do it two ways. There's a jalapeno marinade and a dry rub. This is something I love to do on a Sunday night, kind of bake off all my chicken, and then I have meals for the rest of the week. So for this jalapeno marinade, I'm going to be using chicken thighs. I love chicken thighs because a wet marinade like this will penetrate better than if you have bone on, skin on. And then you just start with the jalapenos. I de-seed most of them. But it also depends on who you're cooking for. Sometimes when I'm by myself, I actually just make them all whole. I love using the cilantro stems. There's a really intense cilantro flavor here. There really aren't that many ingredients in here, so we're gonna put a lot of garlic in. This marinade, it comes from Uruguay. My aunt came from Korea and immigrated to South America, and this marinade is something that she cooked a lot for us growing up. Next is a teaspoon of salt. It's actually two teaspoons of salt and a teaspoon of sugar. And what the sugar does is it really caramelizes in the oven. And here's some olive oil, which will bind this all together. It's really satisfying, this marinade. Look how bright green this is. So sometimes I like to reserve some of the sauce before the chicken goes in and put that to the side. And then once the chicken's been marinating, um, I would discard the rest. And then you just kind of fold it in. So this is gonna go in the fridge for four hours before we put it on a sheet tray and bake it off. If you don't have room in your fridge for a bowl like this, you can always just put it into a resealable plastic bag. So this has been in the fridge for four hours, and now I'm just going to lay on this sheet tray. Even after you bake it, it's still stays this green. And so it's really pretty with anything you choose to serve it with. This is actually the stage I like to pepper it very generously because I love pepper. So this is going into the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 to 25 minutes until cooked through and caramelized and gorgeous. So the second chicken preparation I'm gonna show you today is a dry rub. And I love to use bone-in, skin-on chicken thighs for this because they get super crispy. The fat kind of like renders out. So this magic spice blend is brown sugar, paprika, also some black pepper, lots of salt, some cayenne for heat, garlic powder. And I like to do some celery seed. I kind of love that herbal lightness it gives. I also love the way it kind of looks like that beach sand art. But uh, ultimately you will have to the lid on and, and shake it up. Just get it nice and mixed. So now you just sprinkle it all over the chicken. I do it on the underside of the chicken first. I just keep this by the stove and I sprinkle it on the chicken and bake it off right away. So usually what I do is I eat both of these with white rice. I love uh, being able to taste the chicken, but today I'm gonna show you how to turn these into quesadillas, and I'm gonna turn these into a rice bowl. This one, I would just like cut up into small pieces. Yum, I love that. Some red onion. I like to kind of assemble them in chunks. Some kimchi. Nori, this is roasted seaweed snack. There's some egg. I love cilantro. Probably put a, a lime here. So at this point, I would probably take a picture of it to Instagram, but um, my phone died, so I'm just gonna eat it. I love all these flavors together. Now that I think about it, I've never actually made the chicken thigh version for my aunt. Um, I wonder if she would like this. So I just took two flour tortillas, added some cheese, some of the chicken, just torn up with my hands. The chicken adds this sweet, smoky note to the quesadilla. There's some chicken skin in there, which adds a nice 
crispy, kind of crunchity bit. So these are just two easy, fast ways to make chicken thighs taste that much better.